Britain's Jamie Chadwick, who has crowned the first champion of motor racing's all-female W Series on Sunday, collecting a $500,000 prize. The 21-year-old had started from pole in the final race of the season here in the UK at Brands Hatch, but finished fourth after what she described as the worst race of her life. Despite that, it was enough to clinch the championship by 10 points, having stood on the podium in all of the previous five races and I'm pleased to say Jamie joins me in the studio now um, I would hope the worst race of your life <laughs> is now somewhat put on the back burner but how does this success in the W series compare to kind of what else you've done in the run-up in your motor racing career I think it feels very different to be honest it's one of those things you I guess every race you go into every championship you ultimately have the same goal and it's generally the same sort of feeling off the back of it. But I don't know, this felt extra special. It had a difference to it, of course. I think the exposure, the media attention was far greater than anything I'd experienced. So from that point of view, it almost felt um, that bit more special because, yeah, the attention it sort of gave me afterwards. And how much of that is in part down to the fact that this was a series, particularly in the run-up, that had a fair few critics didn't it? I, I think it's fair to say those critics have been won over. What do you think has made the difference? Yeah, it's interesting that. I think from my point of view, um, to be honest, when I first heard about it, it wasn't necessarily something that I thought was going to be what it's become. Um, it took me quite a lot of convincing to get involved. And What was your biggest concern? I think I just didn't see the need for it. I think I'd basically get to mend my whole career and it didn't seem like the right way to, to go about it. But quite quickly, um, you know, my mind was turned. And yeah, I think what was nice is obviously I had quite a big build up uh, before the first race where I got to know the team. There was quite a lot of selection processes. And through all of that, I learned quite quickly that it was gonna be um, a lot bigger than anyone realized. And it was quite nice to actually get to the first race and get to now the end of the season. And for those people that were criticizing it to actually see, see what it's all about. And there've been a few phone calls, a few messages from some of the people who maybe weren't so on board, haven't they? Yeah, from what I've heard, um, from, yeah, my point of view, I've had um, loads of, of supportive messages from, you know, quite a lot of people in the sport that maybe weren't sure about it initially. But, yeah, definitely a lot of people, I'm sure, have sort of turned their head to it, seen it for what it is. And to be honest, it is such a positive thing for women in motorsport. And from my point of view, it really has turned my career around. You haven't only been racing this season in the W Series. You have also been doing British Formula 3, a couple of other races as well. What is the biggest difference racing against the guys to an, an all-female championship? Honestly, there is no difference, and I'm really not just saying that. I think the W Series is very different in the way that they structure the racing and that all the cars are the same. You're switching cars each weekend. You're not sort of um, in one team for the whole duration of the championship which is what I've sort of experienced my whole way through. Um, but honestly, once the helmet's on, the racing is as tough as anywhere else. It's competitive. Uh, you don't really notice the difference, to be honest. And yeah, I think that's the best thing I think the series could take forwards is that it is going to be um, competitive and, you know, women can race um, equally alongside the men at the top. Will you do it for another season? Have you decided yet? Um, not decided just yet. I think um, I would love to come back. I'd love to defend my title. I'd love to have the opportunity again. They've obviously got super license points, which influences, you know, whether I could race in Formula One or not, potentially. And yeah, as the series goes, I've absolutely loved every minute this year. It's been amazing fun, amazing experience. So yeah, I think I'd love to come back, but maybe we'll see what else might come to the table. What does it, what does the W Series need to take it to the next level, in your opinion? Um, I think ideally more races, you know, for this year it was fantastic um, and obviously it's a fully funded opportunity but obviously I want to be out racing as much as possible um, every weekend if possible so ideally if they can get to the point where they have a few more races that would be fantastic um, but yeah I think as a starting point goes this year has been unbelievable. Is the aim still F1? Yeah, yeah I think it's um, even more so now. Um, I've sort of got a relationship now with Williams F1 as a development driver and I'm kind of getting closer and closer. The W Series this year has helped me achieve that and yeah, I think definitely more than ever uh, I want to achieve that goal. What do you see as the biggest challenge to moving from where you are as a development driver to actually 
getting that seat at the table in Formula One? I think the way our sport works is you just need the best opportunities always. And whether that's financial backing to get in with the best teams or, you know, uh, best support crew around you, you need that kind of backing. And for me, um, I think that's the hurdle now we need to overcome. We need to put myself in the best possible position to achieve what I need to achieve. I want to be there fully on merit. I want to be there because I got the results to deserve to be in Formula One. And yeah, I think just getting everything together so that's possible, probably the toughest bit. Good luck with it. We'll be following uh, your journey. Congratulations again. Thank and thanks for coming in.